when we tackle obstacles, when we face adversity and conflict, it is only then that we find hidden reserves of courage and resilience we didn't even know we had. The future is hinged on your resiliency. So our wounds become wisdom because our perspective, we have a new program. It's called resiliency. What can I accomplish in the rain? Who can I become in the rain? What can I build? Under these conditions, resilience is based on compassion for ourselves as well as compassion for others. So I need you to realize that there will be bad days. There will be times that you feel like you have no earthly idea what your teacher or professor is talking about. But what you will never ever do is throw a pity. What you will never ever do is tap out. What you will never ever do is concede and throw in the towel. And if everything you listen to goes over your head, you are going to miss your moment and stay living in the midst of the madness. The madness of impossibility, the lie. Somebody lied to you and told you that it was impossible. Because understanding the power and the difference between what is impossible and what is possible, it all comes back to your perspective and your capacity. See, your life is one big sum average of the thoughts that you consistently hold in your mind. Your actions, your outcomes, your life is just one great mirror reflecting back to the world what you're thinking on the inside. All of the pain, all of the trauma, everything you have experienced, the turbulence, you have to garner up all of that hunger. I'm talking about you got to think of everything you've ever wanted in your life. You got to put it toward that goal. And there are things that you have been called to do that no one on earth has ever done. I know what pain feels like. I know what disappointment looks like, and I don't like the look. I'm coming back for everything they told me I wanted. I'm going to show the world that whatever is broke can truly be fixed. I'm going to be greater and better than anything you've ever seen.